Welcome to the Sealy Mansion. As I've always enjoyed history, our parents took us to historic places in Kansas. You know, our parents uh, married after the dirt bowl days of Kansas, had four sons. We probably, we never went to the ocean of the mountains and probably a couple reasons, but one of them was we were probably too poor to go there. Yeah. And we were a busy farm family, cutting cuckaburs, milking cows, all of those things. Well, ladies, uh, when we learn history at an early age, it stays with us all of our lives. Mm -hmm. I uh, was able to go to KU McPherson Emporia for two degrees in music. And when I was going to Emporia, a little school down here, a teacher's college in Kansas, and I was singing in a men's chorale group. And we sang in several towns, Kansas, that year. And we came by, going to the high school here, a wonderful old house. And I said, look at that gorgeous old house. Of course, nobody else agreed with me. Look at that house that's needed a paint job, badly overgrown. But I said, look at that gorgeous house. Found out immediately, I knew some people in Abilene, asked about the house, found out that the daughters, Helen and Marion Seeley, were still residing in the family home as pro uh, professional women of the day. Um, didn't marry, Marion was a concert pianist, Helen a chemist. Like if you were a school teacher, got married, you'd lost your job because married ladies didn't work out of the home. And with no sons, the daughters continued to run this big medical company called Patent Medicine. Their father started this in 1890, and by 1900, just 10 years, one of the wealthy families of Kansas bought this whole city block plus, 1896, lived in a beautiful home, but was to tear that down and to build this one, which is 1905. We're coming up with the 113th year of Christmas in the dining room this year. The special part about this whole story is that the daughters, Helen and Mary, and as I purchased it from them, I asked them to stay to be my honorary grandmas. Since he had not married, there was no continued you know, children or grandchildren. Uh, but they weren't sure that that would be appropriate because they now decided to sell it and they felt like they really didn't have a place. It was not their home anymore. But since I had the recreation resort, I didn't know when I could actually move here permanently. So I begged them to stay. Even got them on roller skates, if you can imagine, up in our recreation. <laughs> These near 90-year-old ladies rolling oh down this gosh. big floor. Of course, you had to hold them up all the way. <laughs> anyway, they decided they could stay and be my honorary grandmas. And I was very lucky, folks, to have them another five and ten years. Wow. To literally tell me about building of the house, going to that World's Fair of 1904, which was the showcase of the world. Even though the house needs a paint job, as we enter the front door, everything's original to the St. Louis Fair. Uh -huh. Girls, isn't it fun to go shopping and money isn't a problem? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did build this building, uh, now it's 25 years ago, and it does house what was left of Dr. Seeley's company. The Seeley's at the turn of the century built, bought a big, big old opera house called the Bone Break Opera House. Later it was called the Plaza Theater, and most people of course, remember the Plaza Theater had been rebricked, uh, and uh, it's now not standing, sadly. But everything in this room dates back to 1890 of Dr. Seeley's company. Wow. When we built the building, we did have the last uh, records of the company, and so I had my carpenter build the books uh, just wow. for those volumes. It dates back from the 1930s, middle 30s, after when they last sold the our last product uh, was 1960. Oh, wow. So this company had a run of uh, 1890 to 1960. Dr. Seeley passed away in 1948, Mrs. Seeley in 1951. And so the daughter said it was time to close the company. They never, they weren't making very much anymore. Mm -hmm. So literally everything that's in this building uh, is the last items. It was really uh, from this company and they were a large company. They, uh, Sold uh, four to five or uh, four to five hundred salesmen peddling in oh, wow. fourteen states, and uh, and made a lot of money, obviously, at this stuff. But all this, what's left, is really in here. It was really fun to have the daughters because not only could they tell you about building the house, they were at the World's Fair as children, eight and nine, but they could tell you about the company because literally had 
Helen was a head chemist in this big company. Mm -hmm. I mean, they would have known Eli Lilly and his wife personally as they were a guest here. You've heard of Eli Lilly, Merck, Upjohn, yeah. they were all personal yeah. friends. And now Helen is literally heading the company herself for 30 some years, both going to KU over here at University mm -hmm. of Kansas. So we like all of our guests to go through the front door, so we're going to proceed on down to the sidewalk, come up on the front door, and I'll meet you there, okay? okay. Thank you.